Bear, hand me the horn of glory and triumph. Shall we raise our mugs of Yeti milk in the halls of stone, wood, and fire, that the name of Wormwood shall never be forgotten? Join the team. No, not the magically imbued recorder. The Horn of Glory and Triumph. Hey team, this is the McGuire Review, and we have got an awesome video today with a brand new product from Wormwood Gaming, which is the Wormwood Tabletop Gaming Tiles. It's on Kickstarter right now. You definitely want to go check this out. You are not doing yourself gaming justice without having a product like this. I promise you, this will be one of the most usable gaming components you're ever going to have at your table. Okay, you may notice that there are quite a few things on the table outside of our new tabletop tiles, and that is I'm going to use some of these things to kind of show how these can be used. I've also got a couple other awesome Wormwood products that I've actually got in the past. We do have the awesome little dice tray, and then this is a dice vault, little dice holder that they make as well. Those are in different various woods. Uh, this one's in the purple heart and this one's in the red oak. And I just have these here as reference. So you can see they do make a various different types of products if you aren't familiar with Wormwood. But today's video is going to focus in on these awesome tabletop tiles. Now, with this, what came here with this uh, preview set, and this is a prototype set of the tiles, there will be some definite differences in the production version than what you see here. And it's mainly just tweaks of how uh, the feet on the bottom of these are designed and the height on this awesome little uh, dice uh, jail here, the little dice jail tile that they have, uh, will change a little bit. There's just little tweaks here and there, but this is essentially what you will be receiving um, in production. Now, there was a little baggie that came, and I'll talk about what that is. There's this really cool little magnet device here that's going to be used with one of these tiles, and we'll get to that as we go through uh, everything that's here. All right, so let's just jump right in. And my set here that I got for the preview of this tabletop is made of Clario Walnut. Now, this is one of the woods that they do have to get to a certain uh, level. I think it's the $250,000 level before this wood is unlocked, and they're well on their way. If you don't know, team, you haven't seen this, they're already up over 100 k uh, within the first day for this campaign and there's quite a few of the deliveries that are already filled up so if you do want to get in on this you want to get in on pretty quick because I think they're out to February of 2020 now with the waves um, so that will continue right so if, you, if this is something that you're really interested in you want to get your pledge in so you can get these as quickly as possible Okay, so right off the bat, I mean, absolutely beautiful wood. I'm, I'm glad my version here was this, This uh, it's kind of a cousin of black walnut. does hail from the Pacific Northwest. I'm glad that I've got this because I really like the, um, the look of this one in particular. It's got kind of a nice dark um, walnut look to it, which I'm a fan of that walnut color. It's got some, you know, knotting in it. Just really beautiful stuff that you would always see from Wormwood. Now, I don't want to give away too much just yet. So let's let's go through each one of these tiles and we can kind of see there's a little special extra thing that's on the bottom of these that I think was a really nice touch. So this first one here is going to be something they're going to call the the dice jail. You can think of it from that perspective. So let's say you're rolling your dice in your Wormwood dice tray here and you are just getting bad rolls on that d20 over over and over again just bad terrible terrible rolls you can take that d20 and you can say you know what you are in uh you're in the jail buddy you're in the you're in the dice jail and you're going to be shamed by this die and by this die and however many other dice that you have right it's just more of kind of a fun little thing to have at the table. You know, you can put your, your die that's been rolling poorly sort of in the vault uh, or in the jail there, and every other die around it can kind of shame that die. I find that to be kind of a fun mechanic as you're playing games. 
I also find that to be somewhat of a data-driven component for you as well. So if you do find over the course of multiple games, there's a certain die that always ends up in that jail. You may have a die that is fairly unbalanced. You may not want to use that go forward. Now, I know there's other ways to, to check the weight of your dice and see if a dice is balanced, but this is just kind of a simple, fun little way to maybe collect some data on your dice as well as be kind of fun over the course of just you know, that series uh, of game, that, that gameplay that, that you have going on. So I thought that was a pretty cool uh, little tray. And you can also use that to put other things in as well, but that's specifically what it's designed for, okay? So that's, that's one of the types of tiles you're gonna be able to get. This next one here is what they call kind of the duo. It's got two pockets to hold things. So let's go over here, we'll put our Put our glass to the side there and you know you might have a game that's got some components and you want to separate out some of those components so you can do you can do this right here right so you've got you know a duo tray where you've got two different components that can go in the tray that's an example of that you got another one here which i thought was very cool and this one's going to appeal really more to the rpg gamer and this is going to allow you to know how many times you've cast your one through ninth level spells, as well as doing your death saves. So it's got kind of your death and your life as you're doing those death saves. If you haven't been stabilized yet, if you're playing an RPG game and you go down to zero hit points, you need to be stabilized by another player, or you need to continue to roll these death saves. And that's what you're gonna find on this one right here. So I thought that was really cool, and it comes with these little tiny beads, and as you make those saves, you can just put those little metal ball bearing beads in in there as you make the saves and whatever you need. You, you you have to you know cast your spells. How many times you've cast different levels of spells? All of that can be put right in to this little uh, tile here, which I thought was pretty awesome. And then it comes with this little magnetic retriever that you would just put right over that bead and it retrieves that bead out because otherwise you know you really can't get them out with your finger and they're made to you know stay in there which i thought was a good design that they made that pocket deep enough that that ball bearing's not just gonna you know you bump this and the ball bearings all go flying everywhere you are going to need this little magnet device to be able to pull those out of there and that that is that is pretty cool so after you get done with uh, all your death saves you can pop those out and then have those uh blank again so Pretty awesome, I really like the design of this one, and this, I think, is a very fresh feel for something like this. I have not seen something like this before. Uh, and then it does have a little spot here that will hold that little retriever as you have it sitting out on the table. So if you're an RPG gamer, this tile right here is definitely one for you to probably pick up uh, because you can customize in the Kickstarter how many different types of tiles you want. You don't have to just get the set that has one of each. You can get let's say four of these and two of something else, or however you want to do that. You can get as many as you want because they are completely priced individually. So let's go to the next one here. What we're going to see is what we call the trio, and it's just going to have three pockets, much like what we saw with the duel, right? But now there's uh, three pockets for various different things. You know, you might have uh, something like this, right? Where you've got a game that's got uh, more components and you want to you want to hold uh, three different types of things. Maybe there are different types of crystals or, or whatever it might be. You can do that here. So you can start to see that you are going to need, and we'll go right into this next one here, the single pocket. You know, it, it's hard to kind of call which is my favorite tile overall because, you know, this right here is extremely useful for RPGs. This here is more of a really fun mechanic. Uh, but I, I think when it comes to, like, holding items, unless you've got a game that's got... Um, three or more like smaller type of components. I'm, I'm really liking the duo and, and the single. And I think everybody's going to have their different favorite because when you get to something like this, you can just have one big pocket. You know, one big, I, one, one big area that you can just fill up with everything that you want to put in there. One big that you can just fill up with everything. And there you go, right? You've got all of your components right there in that. And that does... Fit. This is actually all of the money that comes with uh, Descent uh, First Edition. So you can see that's quite a bit of, of money and cash, and that all does fit nicely right in the top of that holder there. So you can fit quite a bit in these single open tiles, which I really like. Okay, 
The next type we have is a card holder. So let's say we we're playing a game and we wanted to hold some cards. So I got some cards here from Wildlands and let's say that these were my cards and I wanted to put these in the holder. I could do that just like this uh, and, and use that as a card holder just for me on a personal level where I can see my cards. Let's say maybe from an RPG perspective, you wanted to put all of your cards, let's say your spell cards, you can use this for that as well. So if you're really the RPG gamer, you're probably gonna wanna get this one, you're probably gonna wanna get this dice jail, and you're probably gonna wanna get this one. And this is gonna be able to hold your uh, spell cards as you use those. So I thought this was a pretty cool uh, little use of of a tile to be able to hold, frankly, quite a few spell cards. And, and again, you're not gonna be able to hold all the spells that you would have, but as a lower level character, this is probably gonna hold most of what you would need. As you level up, you're probably gonna wanna just use the ones that are most usable to you over the course um, of, of that rest. Let's say you prepare certain ones, the ones that you prepare, you're gonna wanna put them here and have them readily available for you. So very functional and very useful as well. Okay, here is the last tile that we have, and I'm glad they did this. I was a little curious how this one would turn out, but I think it is very usable and very cool. So let's say that you don't have yourself a Wormwood dice tray, or you don't have any type of dice tray, uh, and you want a little personal dice tray, well, you can get one of these tiles that actually is a little personal dice tray. And inside is the same quality of leather you're going to find at the bottom of your standard wormwood uh, dice trays here. Same feel, the same quality, but it's right inside this little tile. So, you know, this is going to be, this is not probably going to be good to roll six, seven, eight dice at once. It's probably going to be better for just a few dice rolling. If you're going for that initiative roll, you're going for that, you know, did it hit? There you go. You can just roll your die right there in this little personal uh, dice roller. I found that it does work. It does work really well. Um, and it gives you kind of that little personal dice tray right there at the table. So I really thought this was an innovative, very cool little tile that's part of the set. Um, and I, you know, I keep saying for the RPG gamer, you know, the more and more I look at these, this one's going to be great. Your little, your little dice roller is going to be awesome. Tracking your death saves and your spells is going to be awesome. This is a fun mechanic for when you're shaming those dice. If you don't have dice that are rolling well, uh, for the board gamer, you know, something like this is going to be perfect. This would still be great when you have those smaller, those games where you have those smaller hand sizes of three and five cards max. You're definitely going to want this kind of stuff to hold all of your components when you're playing the game. And team, you will use something like this all the time. I, I've, I do have a product from the past that's similar to this. And these are the types of things that you will use all the time when you are playing games. You don't have your components spread all over the table. If they're neatly packed in these little trays that everybody can get to, you can kind of move around the table. You can even put them together because they are magnetized and they do have a silver as well as two golds. As long as those silvers are always facing up, they do magnetize together. And now you can start creating kind of your own little setup of however you would want to do. Let's say that you wanted to have this, you know, your own little personal setup in front of you. You can now start strapping these together however you would like to do that. This is so cool. So let's say, uh, let's put this right here. Let's say now, you know, this is my own little personal setup. And I'm tracking as I'm doing death saves, as I'm doing different various spells that I'm using. I'm needing to, you know, change that. Uh, I've got my uh, my components that I need to use. I'm rolling dice. Oh, this one sucks. Now he's going in jail. I mean, <laughs> you know, I've got the cards here in front of me. It just, this is what makes this product so cool. And now let's take it one step further. We'll go ahead and use this one right here. So I'm gonna dump out these components. I'm gonna show you that at the bottom of each one of these is a coaster. Yes, I mean, how cool is that? that we've got now a coaster at the bottom of every single one of these. So even if you're not using them from a gameplay perspective, you can flip those babies over and always use them as a coaster uh, for anything. You know, you're having dinner, you're having lunch, you got friends over, you are playing games, and maybe you're not using all of these tiles. Maybe you're playing more of an RPG and you're only using more of the RPG-specific tiles. You're not using the ones for board games. Flip those over and now use them as tiles. Yes! 
How cool and how innovative is that? I absolutely love that. And it does have a nice cork that is there as well as the Wormwood logo and the Wormwood name kind of burnt stamped into that cork, which is a really nice touch and looks really good. I'll also mention because you're now seeing kind of the underside of this, these do have little white plastic feet on them that is only for this prototype version of these tiles. These will be replaced with a different material in production. I'll also mention that the way that they stack together, mine stack very cleanly, very nicely, uh, but they will stack much smoother and much tighter and better in the production version as well because they won't have these little uh, initial prototype plastic feet on them. Uh, so I do want to call that out. Those That will look different in the production version of this. You will also have more of the screw-in magnets on all of the tiles in the production version as well. Um, versus, you know, some of mine look a little bit different. So it's just something to call out and just, just understand uh, there will be some changes in the production version once they get through their Kickstarter, which obviously are, is already successfully funded. Okay, so you've got that tile. Turn it over, and you've got a coaster. That is so cool. I just love that. So Yes! So cool. I mean, I was so glad to see this product come to market because it, I am truly convinced that it is one of the most robust, most usable gaming tabletop components that you can have. It, it, it absolutely is. And the way that Wormwood has implemented these tabletop tiles is, is really fantastic. I mean, giving you the use of the coaster on the back, giving all the different types of insets, and even making some of them really more of kind of a fun type thing, I just think is just so good. So good! Now I do have one component on the table and I'm not going to tell you what it is that I haven't used yet. There is one little component on the table that I haven't used and you may ask what is that there. It is a component from a game that we're going to be reviewing here on the channel really soon. So see if you can identify which component that is and uh, maybe comment below on what game you think that comes from. Uh, and let me know in the comments below if you're in on this Kickstarter. I hope you guys are. Please team, don't miss out on this one. This is one of those gaming components that is well worth the price, it is, you will get the maximum usage out of this. I promise you, you'll use it for everything you do. I don't know, hopefully you do. I do, because I use this kind of stuff for almost everything that I do. And Wormwood, again, has absolutely nailed the implementation of the tabletop tile. Good job, guys. Boom! Warm life, bringing it home. So hit that like, hit the subscribe below to join the team. Keep rolling them crits. This has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time. Bear, let's roll.